It is the last episode for the year, guys. I can't believe it's come down to this. So, we had the best weather we had all week on Fraser. Um, but before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Before we get into today's video, guys, I'd like to thank my sponsor. And that is me. <laughs> so, what I need you guys to do is jump on daysofadventure.com, help support the channel, help to bring these cool videos. Just buy some merch. That's all you need to do. Um, but no, guys, it seriously just helps the channel. That's all it does. And you get a tasty shirt. And I'm super, super grateful that you guys are loving it. So, daysofadventure.com, jump in, get yourself some clothes, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to the channel. That helps so much when you subscribe and even leave a like because it just helps my video get out there in the interweb. So, thank you very much for my sponsor, me. All right, guys, don't forget. If you could just hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, that would be super good of you to do that because it helps my channel. It really does. So, today's episode. I, first up, I messed up. I wanted to hit Champagne Pools. It didn't take into uh, account the fact that we were on the west side of the island and it was going to be a three hour drive from Kingfisher Bay to Champagne Pools, which I'm devil about. Because I wanted to hit Nungala Rocks and I didn't, if we had more time I would have, but we didn't. <laughs> Simple as that, I'm not going to go on about it, but, so, what we did, we went back to Eli Creek. <laughs> you can't beat that place, it was super, super fun, it was a perfect day. But, here's the videos of Eli Creek. Life goes up and it goes down. Yeah. I know my mind's up figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown all right i didn't want to make that little clip too long but the next stop the next stop now i never thought i would actually get to see this this place uh, mainly because it's been deteriorating for a very, very long time. Of course, the Mahino Wreck. Um, it's a great piece of Australian history. You can't, you can't beat it. You can't, you're like, it's, it's there, you can see it. It's, it's absolutely insane to see. And we had the best weather after we left Eli Creek. So here's the videos of the Mahino Wreck that I took. Hope you enjoy. So here's the little secret I've been holding on to. So, Fraser Island has a lot of freshwater lakes. We all know that. Well, most of us do, anyway. So I've done a little bit of research, guys. It does pay to do your research. So after we left the Mahino Wreck, we headed to Birrabeen Lake. Now, it's a bit of a mish to get to. Um, but if you can get there, I can guarantee you that you won't have any of the crowds that you have at Lake Mackenzie. So, if it's something that you want to steer, steer away from the crowds, definitely check out Lake Birabin. It is just as beautiful, just as spectacular, but what I loved about it most is there was no one there. We literally had the beach to ourselves. And you, or we, the lake, I guess, but just the white sand, the freshness of the water. It's a beautiful place. They have so many freshwater lakes and it will pay for you to check out, wherever you stay on the island, to check out where the lakes are and if you can get to them because whew, some of these lakes are so, so good. Um, but we hit the Lake Lir uh, Birabeen, so I'm gonna cut to some of these videos of Lake Birabeen and... Well, I'm the sucker that got caught up with all the carrying all the gear, but we decided to take a bit of a um, different turn we're going to head back to the resort, but we end up going to like Lake Berebeen. And so far, 
it's not bad. If you want to go to a bit of a lake that's not overrun by people, it's actually a really nice place. Quiet, not many people here, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. After we got back, after we spent a good three, four hours in the car, just driving around Fraser. Um, again, it was the first perfect day we had, like weather-wise, at Fraser. And any bit of research that I've done about Fraser was the sunsets on the west side. So I had to do it. I had to capture it. I had to just get down there with my drone and film it. Of course I did. I, had no choice. Anyway, just as we finished dinner, I was like, it's just on sunset. I need to get the drone out there and I need to do it. So I did it. Okay, look, just, this is my luck. This is my luck. All I wanted was for that sun to just peek out of the clouds, just that tiny bit. Now I'm not, you'll see in the video that the sunset that I caught was absolutely phenomenal. Like the sun was just dipping below the clouds there and just as I landed the drone, the sun just whoosh, the sun just popped out and just whoosh, lit up the afternoon sky. It was so good. Probably the best way to end the trip. So I was just super stoked about that. So let me show you this sunset view. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? All right, guys, that's it. That's my trip to Fraser. Three videos. I'll, um, I might put them in together as like a playlist so you guys can watch all three, but this is it for the year. This is, this is all I'm doing. This is, this is the final video. I will be, I am working on some extra content when I'm on holidays, but I'm not trying to worry about posting videos. Um, anyway, guys, from myself, Days Off Adventures, wish you a Merry Christmas, guys. Hold on. Hold on. I wish you guys a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and nothing but the best. Make sure you guys are staying tuned for the next year because I've got some cool stuff already in the works. You just have to stay tuned. Peace.